All right, guys. Um, we're gonna get right into this. I don't really like super long videos with a big intro. This is exactly what it says. We're gonna try to build this coil real quick. Um, actual build times, because hopefully it's gonna take a little bit less than five minutes. So what we're gonna need is an arbor of some sort. Um, I chopped the end off this nail. Um, you can use whatever you want, drill bit, anything like that. A sheet of Japanese cotton that you've pulled into half, like this. You're gonna take your nail like so. Take it, wrap it like you would a stainless steel wick, maybe on a Genesis. Well, once you got it like that, you can just go ahead and pull the rest of the cotton off. You can adjust this arbor size, how much cotton you use, really depending on what atomizer you're putting it in. When I'm using my little 16 millimeter cyclone, I'm not putting this much uh, wick in. All right, so there we go. You want to make sure it's wrapped tightly, but you can still move your arbor in and out. And we're going to be building this to kind of prove a point out of some 32 gauge nickel. This is really pain in the butt wire to work with. So we'll show you how easy it is to do this method. So you're just going to start like you normally would start wrapping a drill bit, keeping your spacing nice and even. You want to do a tight but not too tight wrap. Um, you'll kind of get a feel for it after the first one or two. Another real nice thing about this method is I can carry three, four, five extra coils with me and have them all pre-made, just ready to go. I got a couple little um, nails just like this. So once you've got your coils made, see how easy it was to make some really, really nice clean looking coils. Make sure your drill bit can slide in and out real well. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. If this uh, video seems brush, uh, brisk or anything like that, like I said, I just don't really like those big long videos everybody does. We're here to prove a point. We're here to show you guys a method that should make nickel builds a lot easier. All right, so you got this. We're going to be putting it in my V4D from Hanna on my Vertex from the Boss Mod. I like to give a big shout out to that Vertex. I mean, that's been one of my favorite atomizers. Picked it up in California over at Lovejoy's Vape Room when I worked over there. And just been one of my absolute favorite atomizers. One of the ones I haven't sold or traded. So you slip it in, your coil in, like this. You don't really want long legs here, so you want to get your coil in tight next to your posts. But also make sure none of your other coils are going to be contacting any uh, of the posts so you don't get hot spots. Um, You've got to be real careful with the thin nickel wires tightening them down that's for sure. Uh, Rip said use some uh, grub screws make it a little easier he's definitely right. I've got a Manta coming in today hopefully um, that should make it easier to build in the center. So get it built in you can kind of adjust it you can move it around a little bit um, get it exactly where you want it to go how you want it to sit compared to your air holes and once you're done go ahead and clip your leads and then grasping back on this end apply a little bit of pressure and pull your arbor out all right once that's done you can go ahead and trim your cotton and today I think we're going to be using some uh, VG13, my boys over in California. So real good stuff's made by a chef. Real good um, high VG flavor, 100% VG flavor. And this is the double Dutch, kind of a apple thing. And get your coil all soaked. Now you can see how easy that was. I mean, this is 32 gauge wire. I'm just barely touching this thing and that little coil wants to move everywhere. So this makes it so much easier to work with this stuff. And I've also found that by making your wick kind of a tube like that, I seem to get better wicking characteristics too. Just could be my imagination. Push that all down and nice. Alright, we're just going to double check tension on our leads. This is the probably the hardest part of this build right here. I mean, using 28 gauge is actually really easy. 32 is just a little ridiculous. 
but uh, getting those uh, screws tight without snipping your wires is real important. So that's that. Put a little juice in the well. Let's see what this thing will do. So we got a piece of wire back in here. There we go. All right. Saying a 0.17 ohm coil. Um, 33 watts. We're gonna fire it off at. Oh, that's a little high. Have that set for something else. Let's turn it down to. Let's go 450. See how that does. Reduce a little bit of vapor, a little too cold for this setup. Let's go up. I noticed with the drippers, you got to definitely run the temperatures a lot higher to get a good cloud. I'll try 530. It's worked pretty good for me on the drippers. There you go. Nice little decent vape there. All right, I'm going to come back um, and we'll see how this thing does. But that's it. Five minute coil build. Real easy. Probably, I think it took me less than five minutes. Um, tell me what you think. Like my channel if you guys do. I'd really appreciate it. This is my first actual like serious tutorial thing. So let me know what you think about it and I hope this helped a lot of people out there and I also helped me out once I figured this one out. So you guys have fun. Stay vaping. If you want to watch performance, um, I'm going to show that All next. Alright guys, this is the performance section of the video here. Um, see how this thing does. I hope you all enjoyed the build section. Um, I tell you, I found this method and it works really good. I'm loving these DNA 40 devices. So tell me what you think on performance here. That's a decent little uh, cloud at 33. Let's kick it all the way up to 40, see what we pull. The flavor is on point. This will make juices that you may have liked in pens, but uh, when you got to your drippers, was like, uh, or your rebuildables, it wasn't quite working for you. Go back, revisit some juices you, you kind of liked, but felt like it was breaking down under sub ohm. You're going to love it on the DNA 40. Now, for all you chasers out there, um, that's a good mix right there between. Um, vapor and flavor for uh, all you guys who'd like to you know blow the clouds we're going to kick it up a little bit we're going to run about 560 that was 530 degrees we're just running real nice cloud sacrifices a little bit on flavor um, still a heck of a lot better than just sub ohming it and gives you a real decent cloud So, tell me what you think. Like I said, like my channel if you can. Um, tell me what you think of the video. Uh, let me know if this build helps you out, and I hope it does. Uh, stay vaping, guys, and have a good one.